With so many great restaurants and cooks in our area, it can be easy to overindulge. Dr. Jeffrey Winterfield and Jennifer Waits are here to talk about managing your blood pressure through the holidays. And it's something people deal with often, right guys? This is something that a lot of people deal with. What are the dangers of having high blood pressure? It's a great question. Uh, high blood pressure is really known as the silent killer. It's uh, a problem because most folks go uh, with it undiagnosed. One in three people in the state of South Carolina has hypertension or high blood pressure. And long term, uh, over many, many years of untreated blood pressure, you're at risk of stroke, heart disease, vision loss, diabetes, uh, kidney failure. Uh, so it's, it really is a problem. And what are some of the habits that can lead to that before we talk about steps that we can take to improve blood pressure? Some of the habits that can lead to it are, are the things we kind of already know, lack of physical activity, uh, poor dietary uh, um, compliance, if you will, and it's tough. And I, I've been here two and a half years, and the salt and the, the, the diet here has led to about 15 pounds in weight gain. So, uh, <laughs> I uh, feel the you there. Is, the, the diet is tough. Um, uh, holiday season, uh, where it's upon us, it's hard to uh, sometimes um, uh, behave ourselves and uh, follow our doctor's instructions, but it's important to, to take, uh, take things in stride and, and be, use moderation whenever possible. Um, alcohol intake can influence uh, uh, blood pressure as well. Um, I know some folks that have uh, cut out alcohol completely as my patients, and uh, they have uh, been able to either uh, stop taking blood pressure pills or cut down significantly on those. On so doctor has us covered on all the bad news. Jennifer, what is the hope? What can we do on a day-to-day -day basis to help get that blood pressure down? Yes, so you can, when you're shopping, always look for lower sodium options. They're available at your Publix, your Harris Teeter, wherever you shop. I think that's one of the key things. And also with the holidays coming up, our blood pressure might be up a little bit more than usual just because of the stress and everything that we're doing. We're trying to tighten up everything with work and head over to spend time with our family and friends for the holidays. And so there's a lot of things that you can do over the holidays too to lower your blood pressure and relax a little bit more. And one of my big things is, you know, we're all from Charleston, South Carolina, and we love our country cooking. Lots of soul food there. Absolutely. Uh, we're not telling you not to eat that, but you know, you can splurge without overdoing it. And so portion control is key. Use smaller plates. Survey the lay of the land and look at the food that looks interesting to you and say, okay, here are the three things that I'm going to eat and I'm going to fill up this tiny plate and eat it. It's tough to do, but it's one of the steps that I've been doing and it's been working. Um, another thing that you can do over the holidays with food, you can reduce your sugary drinks and you can have water, but you can spice it up a little bit by adding some fresh fruit and some good juice there and make it really nice and pretty. You can add cranberries and make it very nice and holiday and fun. So there are a lot of little things that we can do. And another thing too, with the holidays, don't be afraid to say no. Uh, we have a lot of holiday invitations coming up, a lot of parties, a lot of things that we're doing, and you need to focus on your well-being and go outdoors and spend time with your family, walk the dog. Maybe not right now with the rain, but when things clear up, you can do that. It is all about balance. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Sure. Important tips to keep in mind during this holiday season. We appreciate you uh, joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Next.